what is up my beautiful people happy friday welcome to or welcome back to my channel today i have something exciting at least i think it is i've always wanted to try this but today we are going to do outfits i would wear if i was in a show or a movie so i have a couple of ideas like shows and movies in my head and we're just gonna try to put outfits together and see if I would fit in with the cast. So let's get started. Okay, starting off with outfit number one. This is what I would wear if I was in the movie Twilight. This is literally my favorite movie. I was born in 2006, if you didn't know, and this movie came out in 2008, but once it like came out in theaters, I don't remember this, but I was told that I went to the movie theaters right when it came out with my mom and my grandma, and we've all just loved it ever since. It's like such a staple movie in my family, like seriously, I can't think about my grandma without thinking about Twilight. We would always have marathons whenever I'd go over there and eat salt and vinegar chips. It's like literally like our thing. The second I got this shirt, I thought this really gives off like Bella vibes. And I have my low rise boot cut jeans. It's kind of hard to see because I can't lower it anymore without you like not being able to see my face. But these are Wrangler jeans. I got them from Amazon. And this shirt is from Sheen, of course. It has like the under tank top look, but it's all attached. And I really like the flare sleeves. She wears a lot of browns and neutral colors to go with like the foggy vibe and my shoes are really dirty like seriously I need to like throw them all in the wash so I'm not gonna wear them in my room because I just like vacuum but I would probably pair this outfit with Converse so yeah I'd get this fit like honestly for the movie and all I would give it like 9 out of 10 it could be it could be different because you know she dresses like a little differently than this but if I was in it this is what I would wear so yeah 9 out of 10 okay for this next fit it is inspired by euphoria if you couldn't tell already, this fit is inspired by Maddie's party outfit. Yeah, I mean, basically, like, off what I have, she just has, like, a some kind of fancy little, like, bra top on with leggings. And I paired it with, you know, my basic black heels. If I had a pair of, like, chunky heels, I would probably wear those instead of, like, a boot style. But I think, I think it's really cute. If I was in Euphoria... I would probably pull up like this. I don't have a lot of like bright colors. I'm a big like black wear. So I think this would be the perfect choice for me. I'd give this fit a solid 6 out of 10. I mean, it's pretty basic. I mean, if I really had to or if like if I was going to a party and this was like somewhat of an attire, I would probably wear it. So I'd give it a 6 out All of right, 10. Alright, moving on to fit number 3. It really goes well with my banner. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. <laughs> I would wear this outfit if I was in Yellowstone. I've only seen like a couple of episodes just from like watching that in a hotel room, but my parents really liked this show. We got this hat from some Amish store a little ways from me. It was like $40. This denim jacket, I think I got it from Stitch Fix. It's like that brand where they send you clothes monthly, not sponsored. And then we got the Michael Kors belt just because I think I needed something chunky with like something right here and this is just like the only thing I have. It's a little fancy, but I'm girly. We got the tank top from I think Zoomies or Tilly's that says cowgirl. We got these jeans from Amazon. They have really cute pockets that has like little angel wings. I really love it. And they have like cute little stitching on the feet too and on the pockets to match. And I just have to show you guys these boots because they're currently covered by the boot cut part. Look at how stinking cute these boots are. I got these at the same little Amish store. They have like a little steer head. They got cute little feathers. These are like good quality boots too. These are my first square toed. I just have like the pointy kind. But yeah, if I had to wear this outfit on Yellowstone, I'd rate it an eight out of 10 for sure. I mean, the denims could match a little bit better, but I think with all of the blue, I mean, it kind of just ties in along with the hat. There's like that cream color. So, I mean, it kind of goes together. Eight all out right, y'all moving on to outfit number four. If you couldn't guess already, this outfit is for Mean Girls. Obviously, I would only wear this on a Wednesday because on Wednesdays we wear pink. I got my favorite low-rise jeans that you guys know and love from Salvation Army. This tank top that has a nice little button-up and a little open-up for like, 
a nice feminine look is from Sheen and we got the glasses also from Sheen. I would probably wear Converse or some kind of flat shoe like Y2K style to go with this outfit but honestly I think it's really cute and if I could wear this to school I definitely would. I'd be walking around the halls flaunting my shit. I mean, honestly, I think Regina George would approve, so I'd honestly give it like a 9 out of 10. I'm not doing too bad with Okay, this guys, this next fit is inspired by Outer Banks. We got the yellow bathing suit from Sheen. I don't know why this keeps coming up. I think it shrunk when I put it in the wash, but it's supposed to like cover, but it's not doing a great job. We got the flare sleeves, the matching bottoms. Super cute. I love this cover up. And I fake tan, so I already looked the part. We got these flip flops. I don't remember where I got them, but they're really cute. They're white, and they have a nice little silver buckle. And we got the white sunglasses to match. I'd give this fit like a 10 out of 10. I mean, it can't get any better than this. You know, bathing suit, even if it was during the day, I could put on some jean shorts and like fold it down. I mean, I think it looks great. And we got the hair up ready to go. 10 out of 10. Okay guys, next is the summer I turned pretty. We got this really nice cream white colored sundress. It's literally my favorite dress ever. It has double straps going up to tie around your neck. One here and then one to cinch this part up so it's not sagging. And I matched it with the same flip flops I just had on. I have actually worn this outfit in Florida. Once literally had my hair curled. I looked gorgeous. I'm not gonna sound conceited, but I'm confident and this outfit is just so cute. There's a picture I really want to post. It's from so long ago, but it's just so pretty. Like I just, I'm really thinking about it guys, okay? But yeah, and then I did a little half up, half down. I think this is really gorgeous. I would definitely wear this. I would give it a 10 out of 10. It's really giving like summer on the boardwalk, sitting on the beach, and she's wearing a dress in the cover photo. So yeah, and I love that show and I love the books. I read the books first. And the show, it's all right. I mean, like they miss a few things, but it's pretty good. I still watch it. But yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay guys, next we have an outfit inspired by Clueless. I know it might not make sense at first in your head, but when you just really think about a Cher's personality, I mean, come on. This robe is so cute. And the only reason why I have this is because I did a solo my sophomore year and it was kind of like an old creepy like 50s song. And I really wanted like either some kind of like old fashioned robe or like a slip dress. And I used to have one, it was really cute. Like if you think about like Teen Beach movie or like Grease and like the kind of pajamas they had on, it was one of those. My coach just ended up hating it and kind of like made me cry about it, so. This obviously wouldn't have worked because it's just so big and like, you know. But it's really pretty and I mean, it's too hard to get rid of. Like there's, I don't wear it, but come on. I'm gonna use it one day, I swear. So yeah, and underneath I just have this pink little nightgown. It has like ruffles. It's really wrinkly so don't mind that. I wouldn't match it with any shoes because it's more of like an inside kind of homey after shower, you know, something like that. Getting ready. We left up the half up half down. Um, I got this from Amazon also if any of you would ever feel the need to get this. But yeah, I'd give it an, an 8 out of 10. I, I honestly love it. It's really comfortable. It's really silky. These are really soft. They're not falling off as one just falls off. I really love it. Okay, last but not least, we have outfit inspired by Stranger Things. The reason why I picked this sweater is because when I bought it from Sheen, my mom was like, I think I had a sweater like that back in the 80s. So I thought it just would go good. It's really comfortable. I love it. I love the colors. We just got some basic blue jeans. I'd probably wear with like any older style of shoe they wore back then. I can't, you know, exactly think. Just some older type of Nike or something like that. I mean, I could have done better if my hair was crimped in like really big and I had, you know, a little more 80s style to me. It would be better. But I mean, this is what I got. I would give it like a 5 out of 10. Half good half bad. Maybe a six. I'll give it a six. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you never miss a video. And you know, I've realized that more than half of my viewers aren't subscribed. 
What are you guys doing? While you're down there, you might as well just subscribe. Leave a comment down below of who or what you want to see next, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.